So I just got done watching episode 5 of Lupin the Third, part 5. And we pick up right after last episode where Lupin's dead. We all know he's not dead. It's episode 5. And it's Lupin. You know, it's not the first time he's done something like this. But anyway, it's a really... These five episodes have been really good. Uh, yeah, and it's... But the reason why Lupin faked his death was to get back at the people who put a hit on him back in, what, episode two? Or episode one? I don't know. Like, who... The people who started the Lupin game, the people who... Marco Polo, you know, the guys who owned that website that was selling illegal drugs that Lupin was after... I probably forgot to mention that in the first vlog. My bad. Not really good at this vlogging thing yet. However, uh, we got some nice touching moments with Ami. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, we kind of delve into somewhat, we don't even really delve into the thought or idea of Lupin being dead because no one believes he's dead. Not even uh, Zenigata. Zenigata actually saw right through it, like the rest of us. And uh, the three people behind Marco Polo that put the hit on Lupin, they're pretty much out of the picture, I believe. They're we're not going to see him for the rest of the series. So this first five episodes really. Uh, we're kind of more like a movie that was an introduction to part five. Um, one thing I'm bummed out is that this looked like it was Ami's final episode, at least for now. Which uh, kind of bums me out because I was really liking her character. However, at the same time, I am satisfied because it does feel like her arc has concluded. Or at least to a certain point where we don't need to see her for a while. Which is really good. Uh, but I'm going to miss, you know, the Lupin being a caretaker for Ami, you know, and just, uh, you know, being this mature figure. Uh, we also get a talk between Fujiko and Lupin and how Lupin's death was being faked by, you know, his gang. But, yeah, it looks like Fujiko and Lupin are definitely having a, you know, they're Definitely don't... It's complicated. <laughs> They're under the Facebook post of It's complicated. Because... You can tell they still care for each other, but... The feelings they had were... They're like... What they have now is different. They don't... They're trying to keep it professional. They're not trying to be personal. And... Yeah, and it's also interesting... You know, to see Lupin not going after, you know, Fujiko calling her Fuji Cakes or anything like that. It's really interesting. Uh, at the end of the episode, we did get a tease of Lupin's next adventure, which is going to be in Spain, which... You know, in the past, in these past five episodes, we did actually get much of Lupin being in France, which is, like, really... Uh, kind of disappointing because our Saint Lupin, the original stories from Maurice LeBanc, are from France. Uh, France. I don't know why I said French. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry for saying that. Uh, those stories are from France, and our Saint Lupin being from France, it's like you would think by these, you know, five episodes, we get more of Lupin being in France having some connection to the original Arsène Lupin. Um, I mean, there's a chance they're probably not doing it because it has been explored in previous parts. I know part one explored it quite a few times, so they might not want to overplay it, which is understandable, but that's one big, you know, like one problem I have with them not being sent to France, like, or staying in France because they're not talking about that elephant in the room. But another reason I'm not liking it because France is such a beautiful country and it has a lot of set pieces. Again, you could chalk it up to they didn't 
the previous parts or previous movies, but it's still France. And with the artwork they have for this series is being magnificent, being beautiful, being artistic. It's a shame that they're not taking advantage, but at least, you know, if they're going to Spain, they still have, you know, Spain's also a beautiful country. They can still do a lot with, but missing out with France and their culture. And yeah, uh, one complaint I've had in the past five episodes is we never got a full introduction to Zenigato's partner. We've just been assuming that he's Zenigato's new partner and he's a rookie. We don't know much about him. I can't even remember his name. So that's a little disappointing. So I guess this one... <laughs> This is where all the negative stuff comes out from the past five episodes. Uh, probably because I saw where everything was going, you know, episode four, and just like, yeah, I'm kind of expecting it, you know, for it to play out. So I guess episode five wasn't as great as the past four episodes. Still a really good episode, a necessary episode, and it does have some beautiful moments in the second half, but it was... I think the first half, you know, going with the whole Lupin's dead, it, it just, yeah, it, it hurt the episode a little. But yeah, that's my thoughts on this episode of Lupin the Third, but I can't wait for the next episode. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Au revoir.